So this time I would like to test the madness deck and I've got a bad hand. I think I have to um, good luck have fun to mulligan this because um, oh, this is not better either. Um, I have to keep this and I hope oh, this is not a great matchup. Uh, let's see what could happen if he could do anything. If he can do anything in this matchup, let's get this stuff away. Um, yeah, another bad draw, and I think we will lose this game. Oh, he's got two mines only. This is okay. Um, if he doesn't find other Tron pieces, we are in pretty good shape. We've got the abundant growth to have our red mana. We can draw another card. Um, we might. Oh, well, this one is great. But I think I want to play Gathen Raiders first. And after that, I want to play a worm. So he might have a counter to counter a spell. Since he might have a counter, I want to play Wild Mongrel instead of Gathen Raiders. Um, because if he has a counter, it is condescend, uh, condescend, I guess, and we just have one mana for playing the extra mana of condescend, or whatever this might be pronounced like. So he's a bit disappointed that he couldn't hit his condescend for a white mongrel, but that's okay with us. We just attack, he's flame slashing it. Um, I don't want to play anything. Yeah, so we let this creature die. This creature is way bigger than the other one, so this might be okay. If he doesn't have like a rustic thing, the rustic circle or whatever this is called, um, we can win this. We can still win this game. Next turn we have three. No, do we have three damage? I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's see. We can play. An arrogant worm and unmorph the creature. He's got the map, so he's starting to develop his um, mana base. He's going to get a Tron land. Oh, he's got the bold. Hmm. I want to discard a land card. No, uh, a worm without paying. Discard. This is bad luck, but we have. We just have to play an Aragon Worm in our turn out of our 5 mana. We don't want to lose Gathen Raider, so let's just play the Worm. And he won't be able to counter it because he's, got, uh, he's not got any mana sources left. He's got four cards in his hand. I'm not familiar with this kind of build that he plays. We are pretty lucky that it takes some time for him to find his Tron pieces. And what do I play against Tron? I want to have against this kind of Tron. I want to have the Tin Street Hooligan. I want to have nope, nope. Ah, I might want to have it because we have to be fast. We might want to have a Gorilla Shaman. We might want to have a uh, Pyroblast. We don't need, let me see, we don't need Firebolt. Do we need Firebolt? Um, this might not be a fuse. Let me see. One Firebolt. Fiery Temper is too slow. It's Carbon Verber. Another Fiery Temper. Another fiery temper. Let's add. Let's cut firebolt and get a river in again. Uh, let's just cut firebolts. Uh, this it might be of use to have burn damage, but I think for lightning bolt is way um, better than this. This looks pretty good. Let's just play and see whether we can win this game. Um, GG. He wants to play first. Let me see what do we have. Um, we can keep. This is not a good keep. Oh, let's mulligan. 
this is a better keyboard key. Uh, the first thing that we do is we get a a green mana source and next turn we just play um, a root baller, no a mongrel and have a root baller. If he finds if he doesn't use his map um, I have to play just the root baller and hope to play one mongrel one turn later. Faithless looting is good as well. Let me see what we want to play. Um, I want to play the looting right now. This is my graveyard. Uh, this is his graveyard. Um, let me see what can I discard. I want to get rid of what's this. This is new. What does it do? Uh -huh. I want to get rid of the root waller and the expand. I want to play it, discard with madness, and he won't be able to counter it. And at the end of our turn we can even just we can even cycle thicket. And next turn it's yeah it's Mongrel time or rare bear time. I guess it's better to play rare bear on the map. So he's got his Tron. He might have his Tron in the turn of the next turn. Let's see. If we want to dodge um, Condescent, we have to just. Oh, another map. This is too bad. What a bad coincidence. Um, so we have to play a good spell in our turn so that he can't fire off his map in our turn. Hmm. I cycle thicket to find anything of relevance and it's in abundant growth. This is not what I wanted to have, but still, but still okay. So first thing that I do is I want to attack. Let's see whether he wants to do anything during our attack step. And then I guess I have to play a bear. Just to force him doing something. No, he doesn't do anything. I'll play abundant growth on the the green source because I've got two of them. And I should have played it on the red one because I don't have double red. And I don't need as many red spots. Oh, this one is great. But one turn light. Hmm. We have to get some cards into our graveyard um, to use Weber. Or we can just play um, White Mongrel and have Counter Mana open. He's got his Tron and we didn't do any damage to him. So this turn there could be a Mild Drifter. Which would be very hard for us because it's just one turn too soon. Oh, it's Prism. Prism is bad as well. Um, we might draw, draw a 10 Street Hood again. We have to get rid of Prism. He doesn't have any red stories, but he just found one and he. Oh, another one. So it won't matter either if we have. Um, 18 Street Hooligan, it can just take care of one prism and he will still have red. We have to keep him from double red because um, if he has a uh, what's he called, Rolling Thunder or whatever this card is called, which deals so many damage, uh, so much damage to um, a lot of different targets. Hmm. Repeal. I'm happy with that. This is not too important, this creature. And since he played Repeal, I can just play my Mongrel and have a big beater on the battlefield. I've got two pyroblasts which is pretty pretty nice. I play a mongrel and hmm I should play Rebel too. Um this is I have to play one I guess. This is just a very hard decision to make. Um I want to have as much 
pressure on the table as I can. But I still want to count his blue spots. If I want to have uh, to count his blue spots, I have to leave open at least two red, and then I just I will just do one damage. If he relies on um, red removal, I can do anything about that. Well, let's see. I just passed the turn. Better safe than sorry. Let's see. Oh, this is great. This is just what I wanted to have. Kind of target spell if it's blue. And it was worth waiting. But it's still not enough pressure. He might have... Oh, he cycled. Good. I just uh, wrote him that he can visit the channel as well. And um, he's got a map. Hmm. Yeah, oh, this is okay with us. Um, since we've got some pressure on the table, it's not much. Um, we've got a lot of options right now. And we can play. A rare bear. We can play two rare bears. We can even play an arrogant worm, which we don't need because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, almost seven cards in our graveyard. So I just want to play a rare bear and I play it before we come in because it won't matter. We can attack um, without him having any options to counter or do anything right now. Uh, we have to be fast right now because uh, he could play Fangren, uh, Marauder, or anything, uh, something like that. Mystery. Let's see whether we can counter another blue spell since he's got five cards in his hand and a massive amount of mana three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Yes, this is okay. What's that? Um, he's oh eleven, and he might have even more mana right now if he finds another good land with this expedition map. What's it? Remote Island. He wants to draw a solution to my board presence. There's another mild drifter, is it? Yeah, great. If you're lucky, he doesn't have the Hydroblast, and we've got seven cards in our graveyard right now. Um, we have to. Oh, this is great. Let's just do. Let's just attack with our creatures. Um, play two rare bears, and next turn, if he doesn't kill, uh, he has to kill the rare bears. So we can just um play an Aragon Worm out of our. White Mongol. So this is a great turn for us. Let's just hope he doesn't come back or has anything of importance. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, we've got thirteen damage, fourteen damage, six, uh, fifteen damage on the table. He has to react re react right now. So he's got a flame sludge for our wear bear. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Hmm. 11 damage. This is just not enough. Let's see. We've got a mountain. Hmm. What are we going to do? I think we have to attack. And we don't need to play the worm yet. We can wait till the end of our turn. So let's just play a mountain. 
and attack. I play the mountain because I can pump Rudvala and have the option to play Aragon Worm during his turn. I want to wait till the end of his turn just to be able to play it. This might be... Oh, what did I just do? I forgot something. Ah! Oh, okay, let's just pass the turn. That would be nice to have um, Kaunus, uh, no, Kaunus Burn, which I bought it out. Oh, so we won! This is great! Good game! He was not interested in talking. I just want to stop the video. This was a very nice game. Uh, yeah.